Jason, you need to scoot over. Are you live now? Yep, go ahead. Hey everybody in uh, Facebook land, this is uh, Sean Holman and Jason Gonderman from Truck Trend. And today we're in front of a, a brand new 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with the new towing prep package. And we want to walk you through both the uh, prep package as well as the pretty trick new camera system that you can get with it. Uh, Midnight Edition is all blacked out, comes on a more aggressive Goodyear Duratrac tire. Um, and the uh, towing prep package adds a, a fifth wheel system in the back, which we'll, uh, we'll show you shortly. So uh, come check out the new truck. So one of the things you should note are the, uh, the newer style uh, towing mirrors. Uh, you can see there's cameras down here as part of the system, as well as uh, spotlights, which is pretty cool. And this is also a midnight with the Z71 off-road package. So it uh, sits nice and high. This, uh, this truck as equipped with uh, the Duramax, leather, long bed, crew cab, 4x4 is about $62,000, which if you think about it is, is a pretty good bargain where you there's half tons out there, uh, full luxury models that are north of 65, 67, 68. Here you're getting heavy duty capability, you're getting a Duramax engine, you're getting four wheel drive, you're getting Z71, leather interior. Uh, it's a really nice truck for, uh, for 62, so keep checking it out. And if anybody has any questions while we're walking you through the truck, feel free to uh, post on Facebook. We're actually monitoring our feed, so you can, uh, we'll answer on the fly if anybody has anything you wanna ask specifically. So what we have here today is, and we'll show you the bed of the truck first, Chevy now is uh, catching up to the competition and they've got a factory installed fifth wheel prep package. Um, what it is is a fully integrated fifth wheel package available in all 2016 Silverado 2500 HD and 3500 HD trucks. It's 350 bucks and it features a frame mounted hitch platform and tray that's concealed under the truck bed. Uh, a factory installed seven way trailer connector is also available in the pickup uh, in the bed. Jason will show you that so you don't have to hang any of the uh, wiring over the back of the truck, which is pretty cool. And the, uh, with the gooseneck installed, the tray takes full advantage of the, uh, Silverado has a fully boxed um, hydroform frame, super strong. And one of the things that you can get with the system here is the uh, ball, and then Jason can show you kind of how that works, as well as the, uh, the cleats here for uh, tying up your trailer chains if you want to. Yeah, it's a pretty trick little system for, what is it, $350? You get the gooseneck ball and your tie-down hooks in yeah. this nice carrying box. This, this kit's $315, and then the upgrade on the uh, gooseneck, gooseneck package is uh, $350. Yeah, and it's very easy to install the ball. You just flip up the little lever on top and turn it, and you just drop her right down in the hole, and you are good to go. So obviously, this is a gooseneck setup. Um, they also offer a Chevrolet accessories um, kit from Kurt Manufacturing. So anybody who has a fifth wheel setup and you won't need it to be compatible with your fifth wheel trailer, they do a system that drops right into uh, right into the bed here so you can also do fifth wheel. You can see how easy the you know, chain tie downs work, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's super simple. Less than a minute, you can have your truck ready to hook your gooseneck up. And we're good. Cool. So one of the other things we wanted to show everybody today is, and ignore kind of all the wires that come with it, it's a lot cleaner on the stock setup, but when you get this uh, truck from the media fleet in order to show you guys kind of how things work, um, they don't want you to obviously hard mount the uh, camera to the test trailer, but if you were to own a Chevy truck, you would have your camera hard mounted to the trailer that you own, so this would be a lot simpler. But what's cool is the, uh, the new trailer camera kit has this uh, camera as part of the system. It's a wireless camera, and it also has infrared for low light situations. And what you do is you wire it to your trailer lights, and you mount it on the top, uh, center, rear of your trailer, and it's got the grooves here so you can actually point the, uh, the camera up or down. Um, so hopefully you can see what you're not going to back over. This seamlessly, um, I believe it's $999? $999, not including labor or installation. Yeah, so no labor installation, but for a, a grand, this seamlessly integrates into um, your system as long as you have the 8.4 inch screen 
and the trailer towing mirrors and the cameras already from, uh, was it 14, yep. 15, 16? Yeah, 14, 15, 16 on 1500, 2500, and 3500 GMC and Chevrolet. So pretty, uh, pretty cool. So uh, I don't know if you want to uh, yeah, hop we'll inside and we'll kind of show you what it looks like from the inside of the truck. Screens. So to operate the camera system from inside the truck, you just push and hold the home button for five seconds, and this screen will pop up. Now this screen <clears throat> lets you pick which camera you want to look at. We can look at the one in the left mirror, we can go back, we can look at the one in the right mirror. You can see left and right. You can do left, right, and the center high mount stoplight camera, so you can see what's going on in your bed for hitching up your gooseneck. Which is cool too because uh, a lot of times the current cameras on a lot of the trucks are on the tailgate so that you can see what you're backing into if you're doing the uh, rear hitch. This allows you to see the gooseneck, that's a pretty cool feature. And the other thing with having the multi-camera views is that when you activate the turn signals left or right, you're able to uh, have that view of whichever turn signal directional that you've activated shows up in the center screen to give you a little more visibility in addition to your rear view mirrors. Correct. This truck also, in addition to the center high mount stoplight camera, also has the tailgate mounted camera for if you're hitching up a normal trailer or anything of that nature, just backing up your truck. So this button up here enables or disables the turn signal function because it's naturally on all the time. But if you don't want it on with you, you turn it off all the time. The what? The light's blinking red, so no. you're running low on battery. Uh, let me know when we get it get it going. So if we go back, will our backup camera not work? Oh, it's mad the door's open. We we'll hop in and uh, while we're figuring out the, uh, yeah. the door situation, as you can hear, this is a Duramax truck and uh, 397 horsepower and 765 pound-feet of torque. Uh, for those of you who uh, are Ram fans with the Cummins engine or Ford fans with the Power Stroke engine, uh, the numbers are a little bit... If you've driven you a uh, fully loaded um, Duramax, there's a lot of benefit to the way GM has the engine and transmission and gearing strategy. So one of the things that's really cool is the Duramax revs higher it makes a little more higher horsepower, uh, great passing power, really good power on grades. And a lot of times you can't really go wrong with any of the big three, but um, you don't really notice the little differences until you have the exact same trailer behind all three trucks on the same grade at the same time, which we've done before. One of the nice things about the Duramax that isn't really talked about a lot is that there's an over rev feature on the transmission that allows you to over rev the Duramax engine past redline briefly in order to grab a uh, taller or a lower gear. So what's kind of cool about that is in some of the competition, once you start getting that runaway downhill or the engine's going and you haven't picked your gear, you have to get on the brakes to bring the engine speed down, which obviously he heats up the brakes and you don't want to do that at a max trailer. The Duramax allows you to downshift and grab that lower gear in situations that the competition doesn't. So that's one of the uh, the benefits of this setup. Um, but super nice, uh, super nice truck. Um, see here, I think we've got the uh, camera set up now. Yeah, this is the camera that is wirelessly mounted to the back of your trailer. It's wired into your trailer's lights, so you have to have your lights on for it to have power. But this will be the view that you would have. And if our assistant would like to grab the camera, we can walk to the back of the trailer. Oh, we just lost it again. This is what happens when you lose battery. It tells you to remember to turn your trailer lights on to yeah. activate your camera. So as we told our, you earlier, this is connected to a battery pack just so that it wouldn't have to be hardwired into the trailer. There we go, thumbs there up. There we go, we're back up. Um, and so that's not representative of how it works when it's hardwired in the trailer, but at the same time, it gives you an idea of, of what the screen looks like yeah. and it gives us a chance to test it out. You can see the connection strength signal up in the corner and the reminder to check your surroundings for safety, but this would work fine on the back of our 42 foot trailer that we have behind us now 
to be able to see what you're backing your trailer into. Man, it looks like the truck is on a twisty road right now. The trailer's <laughs> now passing the truck. You never want to see that. Uh, Walk into the back of the trailer. <laughs> so uh, Brett's going to go ahead and take the uh, camera and put it on the back of the trailer just so we can see the range. And as he's walking away, this is a 42-foot trailer. has about 10 feet between the tow vehicle and the back of the trailer, or in the front of the trailer, so it's really about 50 feet away. And you can see the signal strength is still pretty strong, and the picture's still really clear. Um, but that's what you can expect. This is probably, you know, on the bigger size, 50 feet of what you would ever tow with a truck like this. So it looks like the connection is, is robust enough. And there we go, we lost lost it again, but... But we're losing it because of battery power, we're not losing it because of signal strength. So when it's hardwired to your trailer lights, you won't have this problem. So again, this uh, this package is $999. Um, it's uh, compatible with 14, 15, or 16 Silverado uh, or GMC Sierra, 1500, 2500, 3500 HDs, as long as they have the uh, 8.4 inch screen and the trailer, and the trailer towing trailer mirrors trailers. already. Um, Again, it's a really seamless uh, process. Really cool to see GM upping their game and matching some of the competition, especially with the fifth wheel uh, or gooseneck prep package in the back. The accessory kit for it is really cool. Uh, the camera system is really cool. And I believe this uh, vehicle also has CarPlay too, right? This truck does have Apple CarPlay, as a matter of fact. And if you've never seen CarPlay before, it basically uh, allows you to plug your phone in on, on the CarPlay system. It's not wireless. You do have to be plugged in. It's on this, this projection and module. We could uh, pull out a phone here. Jason will plug his in. If you've never seen CarPlay work before, it's basically a stripped down version of what your phone uh, screen is. So when you're driving, one of the things that we like a lot about it is if you go into uh, Siri, you can ask her for an address. Now your navigation from your phone shows up and you don't have to go through the clunky uh, OE navigation system. And we won't necessarily show where uh, Jason lives, but uh, his wife's texting him too. So uh, you can see, you can actually answer this text all through Siri, all through voice while you're driving. Uh, and again, you do podcasts, uh, audio books, music. Yeah, music streaming. You know all the stuff that uh, that you want, and then there's different apps you can add to it: Pandora, iHeartRadio. Really flexible and is a really cool way to integrate your phone. So if you don't use this factory nav anyway, uh, or you listen to a lot of Pandora streaming music, this is a great way to uh, to interface with it, and it also you know keeps your eyes on the road where they should be. Allows you to do voice texting. Siri's pretty accurate, um, so you know stay safe on the road. So uh, why don't we go through and, and uh, Brett, do we have any questions that people have uh, about it? And we'll, we'll hop out of the truck real quick and answer any questions that uh, you guys have. So what do, we, what do we have for questions? People wanted to know how much the power made. You talked about that a little bit. Um, also kind of talking about the, uh, the sticker price of the truck at $62,000. Yeah, remember it's not a half ton, this is a full three quarter ton truck, um, four wheel drive, crew cab. We have uh, an F-150 Lariat, same basic truck, uh, but it's a short bed, so crew cab, short bed, four wheel drive, half ton, EcoBoost, also 62. So if you look at you know what you get for this, uh, Jason has the Monroney if you wanna go down what the options are. I wanna know what some of the options are for this truck. If it's too expensive for you, the base price of this truck is $45,335. Where you get the added price is from the LT convenience package, gets you some power seats, air conditioning, dual zone, rear view camera, and such is $1,500. The Duramax and the Allison transmission adds $8,400 to the price tag. Otherwise you get a 6.2, right? No, 6.0 liter, liter. Vortec, which... Yeah, no more 8.1 for those of you no. who maybe haven't cross shopped. Heavy duty trucks for a while, the uh, 8.1 liter Vortec Big Block or Vortec 8100 as it used to be called, which is kind of the 454 replacement, that's no longer offered. So basically your Big Block becomes the diesel option and you start out with a six liter uh, Vortec mm -hmm. engine. So um, those are your two choices on the GM trucks right now for, for gas and diesel. And as Sean mentioned, this truck in particular has the Midnight package, which adds $2,200 to the price. But for that, you get the body color, which is black, grill with chrome bars, you get black bumpers front and rear, black colored bezels around the headlamps, the spray on bed liner, black bow ties, the black wheels, your 18 inch wheels, 
and the aggressive tires on those wheels. So if, if you like blacked out, yep. I, I tend to think that maybe in the custom market, uh, that's kind of moved on. They always, usually by the time they get a package, it's probably a couple years too late. But they sell a ton of them. I think people still like the look. Actually, we're kind of curious, our Facebook uh, followers out there, do you guys like the blacked out look or do you prefer something else? I know there's uh, some new color schemes coming out, bronze wheels or uh, charcoal gray or any of those things. But um, this is a real nice wheel tire package. The tires are phenomenal. If you like to go off road, they have a really good hum on the street that you can hear over the quietness of this cab and the quietness of the yeah, Duramax. Very engine. aggressive for an off-road, uh, or for a uh, OE um, off-road package. But it's actually the same tire that Ram offers on the Power Wagon, so it's the Goodyear Duratrac. Yeah. These uh, tubular side steps are something you could definitely do without and get the price cheaper. They're $630 as installed, which is a bit steep. But what's nice about them is they hang down enough where you don't hit your uh, your urea tank, which That's on the true. GM is a little bit uh, vulnerable if you like to go off-road. So there's your uh, DEF tank right there. And on these trucks, uh, they actually hang pretty low. Uh, fortunately, the aftermarket, for those of you who do like to go off-road on trucks like this, uh, they do make uh, skid plates that are available in the aftermarket to protect that. Um, but it's one of the things that are on these trucks that maybe not our favorite feature, but uh, but overall pretty uh, pretty good amount of uh, capability value. Um, I know it's $62,000, it's expensive, trucks are pretty expensive these days, but when you look at where things are in the marketplace and then figure you could probably get to a dealer and, and get some talked off the price, 62, a lot of value yeah. at that price point. The GM has a lot of incentives on these trucks all the time too. You get a good Father's Day sale, probably get 8,000 off the sticker. There you go, Father's Day. Asking. Who wants a new truck for Father's Day? Uh, Brad, anybody else ask any other questions that we can answer before we uh, go off the air here? Um, our friend Tolliver Smith says that he likes the blacked out look and he also reminds that they'll do a, they'll do an all white version. I think it's called the Custom Sport package. It is. Yep. The Absolutely. Custom Sport. The Custom Sport. If you, Sport. They also have the Rally Edition, I believe, still as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, kind of a lot of, a lot of different choices. Yeah, for Chevy's it. gotten really big into the custom packages in the last two years and they've been selling really well for them. So, if you like anything from the bottom up. They did the blackout package that was on the LT stripper truck, V6. Gave a little custom flair, sold every one of them they made. And if you're curious to see what, what's gonna happen um, for next year, pay attention to SEMA. We do our SEMA coverage every year in uh, November, but they usually give you a hint at what custom packages are coming uh, by testing them out on the show floor at SEMA. I think this was one of them, the rally packages certainly were. So uh, anything else from, uh, from our Facebook fans? Um, Zach Spiegel wants to know if they've got a mountain edition. I think he might be referring to the Rocky Mountain edition that you could get. The, or the uh, High Country, the high, well, the high which country has the, the mountains emblem on the side. That's a trim package, not a special edition though. It's, yeah, it's, the, high, uh, it's, it's like the, a, the highest in trim you can get in the Chevrolet. It's like their Denali. Exactly. What, so, uh, what, uh, what size are the tires? Uh, tires on this truck uh, should be about a 33. Uh, let's see. They're right here. Two, uh, 275, 65, 18. So you still have enough room for those big 14 inch brakes. Uh, you still have a decent amount of sidewall uh, for off-road protection. I know some of the other uh, uh, trucks like this without the midnight package or without the off-road package have a 20 inch wheel that looks really nice, but we're, we're off-road guys, so we're partial to the uh, smaller wheel, bigger tire size for, uh, to protect those rims, especially these black painted ones. You don't want the you know yeah. rocks. It'd be pretty obvious if you scratch them up. You really don't want to curb these wheels. Yeah, rock rash curves, yeah, all that stuff. So, anything else, Brett? Uh, that's about it. All right, hey, we just wanted to uh, thank everybody for following us and uh, joining in on our conversations. We're trying to make this a regular thing on Fridays on Truck Trends. So uh, each week we'll try and bring you a, uh, a new truck to talk about. Uh, we've got Nissan Titan coming up. We've got a 15 Ford F-150. We've got some other stuff coming in the fleet in the near future uh, that we'll be able to do more walk-arounds and these interactive uh, Q&A sessions with you guys. And then uh, in two weeks, our Diesel Power Challenge. Uh, look for us on the Diesel Power Facebook page. If you uh, haven't checked that out, we have our Diesel Power Challenge, which is a week-long event. Um, all diesel powered trucks, some of them doing the quarter mile in 10 and a half seconds. I mean, unbelievable. Uh, you'll want to check out the Facebook Live uh, the second week of June for that. So, uh, just ready to sign off. Thanks, everybody, and uh, appreciate you uh, following us at Truck Trend.